to any Star Trek fans. I've noticed on YouTube uh, with the Star Trek community, a lot of folks have been showing off some of their collections. Uh, I've got a pretty big one. I've never really just kind of sat them out and <laughs> shown you what I have. I thought today I'd start with the uh, Mirror Universe. And I have the four Mirror Universe dolls that that Mego recently released. Recently, you know, within the last 10 years, basically. Uh, of course, Mirror Spock is great. That was goatee. Mirror Sulu with his nasty scar. Uhura in uh, the, her Mary Universe outfit with her dagger in her boot. And finally, of course, Captain Kirk in his Mary Universe outfit. So that's that's what Mego came out with, and uh, yeah, I like those four quite a bit. Um, some other stuff from the original series. Uh, this is a, an agonizer prop replica that I did. Um, yeah, it's just like the one on the show, pretty much. It's fun to do. Um, and then the dagger, which also really comes in handy as a uh, uh, letter opener. <laughs> Yeah, I did this one too. This was a resin kit. Pretty easy. Anyhow. Um, I guess something else that could be considered original series, kind of. I got this from uh, from Axanar. Um, this is the Mirror Universe Ares patch, which is pretty cool. Kind of rare. Okay, and then, yeah, okay, so this is from Deep Space Nine, uh, from the uh, Mary Universe episodes. Um, this is the Cardassian Klingon Alliance symbol from the Mary, Mary, from the Mary Universe. Okay, moving on. Here's a uh, Mary Universe badge, and th this is from a, uh, um, originally a uh, next generation Mary Universe uh, graphic novel, I believe. Anyhow, this is, it's kind of cool. I like that one. All right, well, moving on. Moving on to Discovery, which was the other show that I've got uh, Mary Universe stuff with. I, I, I got this model kit and built the Discovery. I just, I have to say, I just love her lines. Look at how sleek she is. I really love that. Um, I don't know about the cookie cutter stuff in the front and the spinny wheel and all that, but yeah, she's just a nice looking ship. Anyhow, so this one is, let's see if you can see that, the ISS Discovery. So yeah, this is the Mirror Universe version of the ship. I chose to do that one. Okay, moving on, um, other ephemera. Uh, this is also from Discovery. This is a, a badge that will be worn by certain Mary Universe personnel. Uh, I think this one means uh, Master Poisoner, which is kind of cool. Um, I just attached Neodymium magnum, Magnet in the back, and it's really good because I can't even get it off. Uh, yeah. Anyway, got that off Etsy. Someone made that. Um, now here's a Mirror Universe da dagger. This is a letter opener <laughs> for real. Uh, that's what it's supposed to be. Um, but it's also a pretty cool uh, scaled down replica of the of the one they had in uh, Discovery's Mirror Universe. And then this. This is the uh, Discovery Mirror Universe Agonizer. Um, this part here is for belt attachment, I believe. 
Anyway, uh, check out, look, look at the difference in size. Here's one from Discovery. Here's one from the original series. I'm guessing this one packs a much bigger punch. <laughs> That's my guess. I can't think of any other reason for it to be so incredibly huge. But it is, it's just gigantic. I think they went for bombastic. <clears throat> and this, this is something I made based on uh, Discovery. Uh, Emperor Giorgio has this basically fidget spinner of death that she throws out and it just like goes through people's heads and it's pretty nasty, you know. Definitely PG. <laughs> anyway, so I got a screenshot of it and uh, then I turned it into a, a 3D file for printing on Shapeways. Uh, I think they've gone out of business now. But yeah, you can see, like, here's the, that's North America, that's South America, and you can see they're backwards. This is the mirror universe. Kind yeah, of cool. Uh, the rest of this, it appears to be a dragon uh, that, or some kind of serpent that's eating its own tail, which is interesting. Here's one head, there's a mouth. There's the other head and the mouth. Anyway, yeah, I made this. I made this. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. And the last thing I'm going to show you uh, is something that uh, the company Eagle Moss released. And it's the ISS Charon, which is an enormous ship. And it had this uh, base. It was basically a sun uh, at the center. And inside, let's see if I can get in there. I wish I had like three hands. So inside you can see what's being bathed by the light and that's actually where people would, would live and there would be solar panels also, I guess. Um, so yeah, the inside, you actually have some living room. And uh, the rest of the thing seems to be devoted to um, weaponry. Here's the bridge up here, or command center, whatever it's called. And, uh, yeah, see that, that kind of hole? That's an actual hatch that they open and drop people into this little artificial sun. Um, my friend, my, my buddy, my best friend, he, he uh, when, when he first saw this ship on Discovery, he, he was not impressed. And he referred to it uh, from uh, Buck Rogers as uh, Princess Ardala's ship, which it, it does have some resemblance to. But I liked that ship, so I, I kind of, yeah, I don't know what it meant to me. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's got, like, you know, symbol of the mirror universe on there. Um, some, of the, some of the painting is neat. And, you know, it's, it's really cool to have this light-up feature, definitely light up features are always cool all right well that's all i have to say on this that's my mirror universe collection i hope you enjoyed this video for whatever the point of it was uh this is daddy star trek signing off and just a, a quick post credits bonus so to speak uh i forgot that i had uh star trek mirror universe tribble um which, uh, let's see if I can get around here. It's got these crazy teeth. Oh, heck, I'll just take them out. Hold on. Okay, there, yeah.